Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Christelle Martinet, and this is a reading for you, Taurus, for the month of November. Let me start with some um, sounds for you, universal sounds. Hmm? All right. Now, what am I looking at? Well, before we go into what am I looking at, what am I seeing, actually? Um, I wanted to start with a rune for you for the month of November, uh, Taurus. And we've got Thurisats. What is Thurisats all about and what makes it so important for us to look at? Now, Thurisats is all about protection and in his bright state it's it's right side up it's all about protection and especially with other runes that we'll see as as the reading goes on it talks about fire this fire inside you um taurus what kind of fire are we looking at i it would be wonderful for me to say look taurus it's all about love it's all about your career. It's all about the passion that you have with your work. But that's just too superficial. What I'm saying is more... Look, at we've got the Ten of Coins. And the Ten of Coins does talk about money, actually. It does talk about abundance. But it talks about a spiritual abundance, first and foremost. We have a foundation which is very firm with this four of wands we have a strong sense of house it's not only where we lay our hat where we hang our hat you have you know where you are you know you know your your first uh, chakra is strong open your tribe is around you and you know that but we have here the six of cups now the six of cups usually talks about a return but i'm not seeing this as a return i'm seeing as crossing paths once again you're crossing paths once again and listen uh taurus you have a person in your life all right most of us have some form of baggage we have someone in our lives someone in our minds that were part of our lives someone that is in our experience because in a different time dimension we are with them this person is very important and that's true but there's something that comes your way the month of november that brings your mind to curve you know, there's the energy that bends. It's, it's as if, Taurus, for the month of November, you can bend energy to your will. You bend the energy of your thoughts and the way others think of you. Um, what I like about, um, about what I'm sensing is that there's a wide open feel, Taurus, here. November's wide open for you. Let's take an example of those who work on the streets, who work with um, road signs, who work with repairing roads, with deliveries, with cement. Um, those people may be considered, you know, frontline workers or workers who have to work no matter what, even during COVID lockdown. But I'm seeing here that your business your career, your actual work, and what you do with rolling up your sleeves is just a fraction of this wide open range in the month of November. Your mind will going will be going beyond its normal borders because you're going to start dreaming. Dreaming about what you want to do, where you want to go, who you want to be for a person in your life, who you want to be in future for a future child. If I have a family and I have children, how do I want them to see me? Who do I want to represent for them? What kind of role model am I able to project? And then you start, you know, putting yourself in this maze, 
in this labyrinth called life and start looking at the spokes, looking at all different ways out to think, well, who was a role model for me? Were they always a role model? Was it important for me? For me? Was it 100%? Did I have their attention? Did they always give me their attention? And so you start to uh, fine tune this idea of, of you taking shape in relation to other people, in relation to those who aren't even born yet, in relation to anything that will get you in a sort of uh, vision of your tribe. And here, you know, the, the key word in the month of November is your tribe, your tribe and your teepee and where they are and who they are in relation to them and who you are in relation to to them, um, who they are in relation to you and who you are in relation to them. I'm seeing here um, a friend, okay, Amika is a friend, but she is all about harmony. And harmony does reign in the month of November. Now look at this. This is Viajo movement, movement towards harmony. And we have the messenger. Things happen in the month of November. A lot of things happen. And a lot of messages come to you, not only from your spirit guides, but you get responses. If you planted seeds in October or in September, you will get answers. Some of them will be negative, of course, but others will be interestingly positive because even if they're negative, they will give you a stepping stone to then understand in the understanding of where you will be going afterwards, where you can plant further seeds. So it looks like to me, um, uh, um, it looks like to me, Taurus, that you are with your antenna up and you have this wide ranging world. Your world in November has no limits. There's limitless, limitless world in November. Now, what I'm going to do is take a few more runes here, two to be exact. And what do I have? I've got Lagas, Lagus, Merkstave, which is not usually a nice position for that, but I do have Pedro, Brightstave. What do these tell you? These tell you this is a magical, mystical rune that makes it possible for you to see hidden traps coming your way. In November, you will have this and these antenna and you will know when to go forward. You will know when to sidestep. You will know how, when to go back and when to uh, go into the limelight, when to go into the shadows. What's superb, this on its own, this on its own, will make me go, oh my God, oh my, no, 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 Lagos Mark's name, no. But we've got Pedro, which really gives you this insight, all over insight. And this announces the Himalayan mountains, Russian, in, in Italian, the, um, um, how can I call them? Uh, Montagne Russe, they are uh, uh, things that are in, in theme parks or um, entertainment parks. You get in, in their curves, you know, and everybody's, their throat is, is in there, you know, their, their air is missing because they're so excited. What happens is it is an up and down month. What goes up goes down and comes up again. There will be highs and lows, but you see things coming. You see traps that are in your way. You know how to sidestep them. And I love that. I love that the way that looks. I'm going under the deck here and, and showing what do we have? We've got the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Cups, uh, Cups. I, I'm getting excited. The Ace of Cups comes to you in November filled with what? the king of the king of coins 
The king of coins is an earth sign. There may be an earth sign in your midst, in your working environment that will be bringing you communication of interest. Now we have this devil. Now, the devil is a card that tells me, ah, ah, let me get under the deck. Let me see something else. Uh, we have the devil, but we also have the ace of coins. And the ace of coins is a highly spiritual card. These two together tell me that there may be a crisis of conscience in the month of November. For some of you uh, uh, Tau Tauruses out there, and you will start to uh, think that there may be another way. How many gods are there? Is God inside us? Is it necessary to call it God? Could we call it a spiritual, just spiritual energy? Could we? So these are all in things that rotate around your mind. So it's as if we have, on the one hand, in November, we have all of the material goods, the ideas, your work, and, and going in and out and sidestepping because you know there are traps. And then on the other hand, in the time, your free time, you start to think that all of those material goods are nothing because you haven't learned enough. You haven't understood what is the true value of living. What is it? What is that magical quality that makes life so important? Interesting, very, very interesting month. Now, I'm going to take again, the Sibila, but from the bottom of the deck. And cute, cute, very, very cute. We have Speranza, our Lady Hope. And the Lady Hope um, is right next to despair, disgrace. And that is the tower in this um, deck of cards. But right next to that is the room. The room is immediate communication. So what do we have here? immediate communication that comes to you that could make or break your future. Now, I'm going to pull a cast a rune, cast, it's how we say cast, a rune in that. And we've got, in terms of make or break, we've got a Watts. Now, a Watts is a rune that um, is a very protective rune. It's an ally. It is working in your favor and it has your back. So please do not fall prey, Taurus, to fear because fear will ruin your month. We've got here the death card. Now, the death card is a card of... Um, of um, renewal at times, but it is also a Scorpio card. So there may be a Scorpio in your uh, month that is of importance to you and importance to you in on the workplace. Many of you will be changing places of work. Many of you will be changing jobs. And the Knight of Wands and... Um, Another important in bit of information for you, Taurus, is that if I may find one, one characteristic that will propel you forward in the month of November, it will be your drive in terms of your projects, in terms of your, uh, those seeds that were planted, your drive forward. Of course, we did say there were those ups and downs, but you have the vision of Pedro in this huge, vast space that is November for you. One more Sibylla card is the sacerdote, is the priest, and we're back on track with the spirituality. But this is a draw. This card is a draw. This is something that is ambiguous, and you start thinking, if I thought, if I thought this religion were the religion that I should espouse, what would happen to my life today? On the other hand, what if I tried to espouse this other school of thought and this other philosophy? What would my life be like? And this is the, let's say, the crux of the matter in spiritual terms 
for the month of November because it's both a practical month where you have a sparring partner with yourself at the wall, with your shadow, in terms of where you're going to go with your career, but also what it all means in the scheme of things. I do hope this was of help to you, um, Taurus friends. Do like, share, and subscribe my videos. Ring that bell and you'll get notified. And until we read together again, namaste, Taurus friends. Bye-bye.